Hey, how you doing? I'm Nick, and if uh, you're thinking of buying a telly, and sometimes you hear them and you think, wow, those things sound really kick-ass. And then other times you think, whoa, that's, that's a bit nasty and bright and harsh uh, and very trebly. <laughs> and yeah, they can be. They can be very trebly. But I think really a more fair and accurate description would be to say that they they have a very wide tonal range. Um, for example, on the bridge pickup here, you got that thing already uh, the tone knob cranked all the way. That's pretty bright and harsh and brash, and if you're in the room with it, it's not very pleasant to the ear. However, if you crank that thing all the way off, uh, all the way back. That's pretty bassy. Uh, you get that Eric Clapton woman sound basically almost out of it. Um, so, therefore, yeah, probably more, more so if you're a rock player, but not necessarily exclusively because a lot of the country pickers, a lot of them play it with the shimmer and the bright sound, but a lot of them, they, they thicken, uh, thicken them up pretty good too. And that's basically uh, what we're going to be talking about here is, you know, how to thicken up your sound on it. And you may be wondering, well, if I get one of those things, do I have to, does it matter what amp I get? I mean, do I have to get a bunch of pedals to thicken it up? No, you really don't. I mean, you can, you can do a lot of that and that can help you out, but basically on most amps, I think as long as you look at it, uh... If your approach to it is if instead of starting out with that thing all the way up and using that as your reference, you know, just kind of playing and backing it off a little bit as you go, which is, I think, probably the more common thing to do with, like, you know, Gibson-style guitars and whatnot, start with it in the middle. Because that's basically, I think, what they kind of had in mind with this. I mean, that's why they got these big knurled speed knobs on them that have been on Telecasters forever. They're there for a reason. Uh, a telly is kind of like a car with a manual transmission. You're the one in control. So if you start in the middle and just kind of use that and bump it up or down as you're going along or, you know, find your sweet spot and then you can kind of leave it there for the most part. That's... As you can tell, that's much more pleasant than... Sure, that cuts through, but it just, ouch, you know, it's not very, <laughs> it's not good, I don't think. Um, Alright, so you got it in the middle. And that should work pretty well for probably the bridge as well as mixing the pickups. Yeah. It's a nice warm melody. Getting a little bit of a cackle. I think I might have a tube going. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically. If you want to thicken up your sound with a telly, you really don't need anything special. I'm going right into the amp. Uh, I'm using a thick pick. That does kind of help. Uh, but I'm actually playing fairly light strings too. This thing came set up with nines, which I haven't played nines for 20 years. I mean, I've been a. I've always pretty much played D'Addario tens uh, for a long time. Um, but this came with nines, and I I really like it. So I just I left it like that. Um, so even with the lighter strings on there, you can thicken it up pretty good. I mean, it's still going to sound like a Telecaster. It's not going to be a, a Les Paul, um, but it, it thickens up really nice and it'll it'll sound good for you. So you know, even if you hit your boost. <laughs>
pretty good. Um, I guess that's about all I have for you. I hope you got something out of that. Um, for some players, you might be going, well, duh, that all, I already knew that. And others might be going, well, you're neutering it. You're taking the shimmer out. So you might agree and you might disagree. Uh, but whichever way you look at it, you know, don't get your information from just one source. Always, you know, there's a lot of videos out there where you certainly could read a book. That always works. Um, all right. I'll let you go. Thanks a lot.